Welcome to our channel guys. I'm Chris, this is Carrie, and we are doing something fun today with our girls and a few of their friends. We're going to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Mm -hmm. If you've never been to the boardwalk, it's super fun and we can't wait to show you guys what they have there and the fun we're gonna have today. So uh, we're about to get in the car. We just got our Starbucks, got on the road, and we are going to head there right now. Shop at Santa Cruz, Mary Ann's. No. Yep. Mary Annie's. Nope. <laughs> Incorrect. False. Kate Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> We just got to our hotel here. We're at the Best Western Plus All Suites Inn here in Santa Cruz. And it's right on Ocean Street. It's a great place to stay. They have free breakfast in the morning. Uh, we're looking forward to our stay here, but more importantly, we're looking forward to heading to the boardwalk. And we're actually gonna look for uh, a free parking sp spot that we love using if it's available. And we can't wait to show you guys if we can find a spot. We can't wait to show you guys that little tick and tip and trick so that if you ever come in here, you can look there first to see if you can grab a spot where we park. I see a spot is what I'm gonna say. Get out of Boy. my way, postman. We found our parking spot. We get to walk over the fun bridge into the boardwalk. So here we go. What you wanna look for is Murray and East Cliff Drive here in Santa Cruz. We'll show you some of the uh, street here on Murray. That's where we parked. And so if you ever come to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, it's a great place. If you can find a spot there, it's free, uh, but the parking is limited. But we were lucky enough to be able to grab one. I don't think they let you walk on the train tracks anymore. So you used to be able to walk across the railroad bridge to get to the boardwalk, which was really fun, but there's lots of gaps in it and now there's signs not to do it. And But they built this other bridge, so it's an easy walkway to get there. Yeah, it was a lot of fun when we used to actually walk on the bridge. They want to keep people safe, which is understandable. Loved it. She's gonna go again, right? Awesome. Have fun. Let's go on some more rides. You wanna go on more rides? Yeah. Why? Because I Let's want to. Let's just like enjoy the atmosphere and hang out. Maybe eat a little bit. And just, just, you know, we don't have to go on rides. Why would I do that? You have a good point. Alyssa's a little bit crazy to go on the cyclone and there's no way Karen and I are about to go on that ride because that's a horrible ride. Yeah. Yeah. Well, never. You, I used to love that ride. Yeah, me too. Until I hit like 40? 30. 30. Yeah. Oh, for I me. I know until I hit babies. Yeah. Yeah, for me it was like 35. I didn't like doing that stuff anymore. But Alyssa's going to do one more ride. I feel like an old person letting her go on rides and just watch them. This one's not too bad. You can go on it. Eh, hey, I'll let her have fun. <laughs> What do you like the most about dropping like that? Oh, I, I 
kind of like the lurch that happens in your stomach. Yeah. yeah. So one awesome thing about the boardwalk is you can see right behind me, they have Dole Whip here. So if you love the Dole Whip, the boardwalk's got you covered.
shift like jerk right into each other one time. Wow, that thing was jerky, but fun. Such a classic ride. So we just got the Giant Dipper. Are you guys okay? It was really fun, but it was really jerky at the same time. I don't remember being like that with Flashy when I was younger. So you gotta do it. So right behind me, you got the uh, deep fried dessert sweet station here. They got Twinkies, Oreos. They even have Smucker's PB and J deep fried. Um, I've gotten the Twinkies and the Oreos in the past. I don't want to get them today, but the deep fried Oreos are amazing. They uh, give you some chocolate sauce. It's like a sweet batter. It's really, really good. We are gonna be looking for some more fun things to do. I think we're gonna try out the giant swings next and just continue having a fun time. So we are on, what's it called, the Sky Glider? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. But it gives you a nice little like overview of the park and the beach. And the scenery from up here is amazing. It's just a beautiful day too. It's kind of different being here during the day. We used to always come here at night because they would have special deals at, after 5 o'clock. They're not doing that for, because of COVID, so it's just an all-day ticket that ends at 7 o'clock, which is in less than an hour. So. Yep, I think it's like in 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, we'll see how many more rides we can get. We're going to show you how long it takes to get to where we parked our car for free. So it's 7.29 right now. We'll see how long it takes for us to walk. So if you are going to use the strip parking spot, um, when you're crossing the bridge, it's right over there on the other side of those houses. By the way, how cool would it be to live in one of those houses? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It took us four minutes to walk back to the car and we saved 20 bucks. 
And of course, I'll pay $7 for a potato, but I don't like to pay $20 for parking. Hopefully you can use our secret uh, parking spot tips too. We made it to Pizza My Heart, oh my gosh. You guys, it's been so long since we've eaten here, since I've had Pizza My Heart. I am in just crazy, super excited to eat here. And uh, it's been a long time since I've been to one, especially here in downtown Santa Cruz. And this is a staple in the Bay Area. This is where Karen and I grew up. And I oh, can't wait to have Pizza My Heart. You can already taste it. You can smell it. It's so good. I love Santa Cruz. That's cool. There's always some really cool and weird things happening here. Yeah. These guys are pretty stinking talented. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever do come to Pizza My Heart, you need to take advantage of their uh, shirt and slice deal. You get one shirt and one slice of pizza for eight bucks. And the shirts are pretty legit too. They change the styles every year, but you can see they're pretty cool shirts. They're comfortable and a lot of people wear them around. They're just super iconic, at least in the Bay Area here. I also love that all these pictures behind me are people who are, I think they just see on the community wearing their shirts. And I love that they have them up here on a frame. I love the kind of community that that speaks to and just the way um, this company operates. I love it. They've always been great. They make great pizza, great people. And uh, if you guys ever come to Santa Cruz, you have to come to Pizza My Heart. How's the pizza? Good. Awesome. What do you think, Lynn? Where's my water? Uh, I've never tried this kind of before, but it looks pretty good. What'd you get? Where's my water? Uh, bacon and chicken. Oh, oh yum. All right, what do you guys think? Is it good? It's my first time Yeah, it's really good. It's pretty good. Yeah? So something about the, the uh, Big Sur pizza, which is my favorite slice here, it's got roasted garlic all over it, along with some sausage, pepperoni, portobello mushrooms. Yes. It is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Wow. That's a strong statement. It is. How much do I'm you like I'm not going to say that, but it is great. And look at all this roasted garlic right here. Wow. And you got to fold it up as you eat it, too. It's really the only option. Yep. Mm. That good. The green onions too. The green onions are really good on it. Yep. I also got what's called a Maui Wowie. And I don't care if you're a hater and you don't think pineapple belongs on pizza, you're wrong if you think that. But it's amazing. And I love their pineapple Canadian bacon pizza. Why did you put pineapple on your pizza? Why did I have why did I have them put pineapple on the pizza? It's wrong. It's so good. It's wrong. It's You're wrong. wrong. No, it's good. You are wrong. It's okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's good. I just had like three whole cloves and like roasted garlic in that bite. Pizza my heart. So glad we were able to come here. Oh man. Yeah, it's good. Wait, what are you trying to do? Trying raise one eyebrow. Raise one eyebrow. <laughs> it's amazing. So we just had an amazing dinner at Pizza My Heart. My uh, camera's battery died, so I'm using my phone. But uh, that was so good. Um, we're full. <laughs> We're going back to our hotel and just gonna relax the rest of the night there. Let's head over there. Back at our hotel, heading upstairs, getting our key cards, and get into our room. I think we're gonna call it a day. Does that sound good? Yeah. You tired? Not really. Not really? Yeah. Do you have a fun day? Yeah. I'm probably going to play a little bit of Roblox. So. Oh, Roblox? Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she's a pro at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to call it a night. And uh, we had a fun, fun day at the boardwalk getting some pizza, pizza my hurt. And we're going to show you guys the breakfast that's, that comes with the cost of your stay here at the Best Western Plus in Santa Cruz. And we're going to show it to you right about now. 
Good morning, guys. Oh man, we had a great night's sleep last night. I just made us coffee, so I'm just gonna go see if I can put a little something, something in this and uh, just start the day right. <sighs> Not the best coffee in the world, but it'll do. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. How are you? I'm awake. Cause you got your coffee, right? Yeah. It's not that great, huh? No. Well, they have other coffee outside, so maybe we'll try that. Okay. Well, we should go see what they have for breakfast. Yeah. The girls are almost ready. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Looks like there's a bit of a line. Please go get me my coffee. Since there's a line, I need to drink it. I need to you get want to get you some coffee here? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll walk, I'll walk three feet over and get some coffee for you. Mary wants her coffee bowl. How's the cereal, Alyssa? Good. Yeah, you like that one, huh? They have pog juice, passion orange guava, good stuff. It's pretty good. That's good pog juice. Well, the burrito's okay. It's pre-made frozen burrito, but it works. How's the waffle, sweetie? Cold. Cold? Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's okay. I mean, the waffle itself is... It's the only fresh made thing here. That's true. It's good. Yeah. It's just cold. Yeah. So we uh, pretty much finished our breakfast. We're not bad for hotel breakfast right now. So we're gonna head back to the room, clean up, pack up. We might be getting some Marion's ice cream before we head out of town. Stop, you're wrong. It's Mary Annie's, not Mary Ann. Mary Annie's. It's not Mary Annie's, it's Mary Ann's. It's Mary Annie's. Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Mary Annie's. It's a bit of an ongoing debate in our family as to what to call it. It's a it's an ice cream shop that's been in Santa Cruz for a long time. Uh, it's called Mary Ann's, but well, we'll explain it when we get if we go there. <laughs> so we had a great stay here at the Best Western Plus. Tell the story behind Marianne's ice cream. Mary Annie's. Mary Annie's. So Mary Annie's. So I've been coming here my whole life. I guess you probably have too. Yeah, uh, yeah, growing up, probably starting high school. Okay, well, I've been coming here since I was really little. <laughs> We've always called it Mary Annie's. And then when we were dating and we went to Santa Cruz, I was like, ooh, let's go to Mary Annie's. And he's like, oh, I've never heard of that. And then we came here and he's like, that's not Mary Annie's, that's Mary Ann's. I'm like, no, it's not, that's Mary Annie's. Everyone in my family calls it Mary Annie's. So I was really convinced that it was called Mary Annie's. And then we asked someone who worked here and she says it's called Mary Ann's. And I don't know why she's wrong since she works here, but I know it's called Mary Annie's because my whole family calls it that. Yeah, I like to call things what they are. Well. Even though I'm not the one with the English master's degree. But, I don't you know. Have a, I don't have a master's degree in pronunciation and spelling. Well, you should. <laughs> totally different. It should be part of that. Mine is in more like critical thinking and composition and... Critical thinking, huh? <laughs> that's, that's ironic. <laughs> um, I think critically... Burns, that, right. I like to go with tradition. It's important to me. And I'm going to keep calling it Mary Annie's and bribing my children to ask them what is it called. Yes, well how do you bribe our kids to, to buy into the falsehood of calling it by the wrong name? Um, getting the double scoop. Yeah. Yep, she bribes her kids to get her way. It's not the healthiest way to be a parent, but it's it's it fun. It works. <laughs> Ask them, what is it called? All right, so what is this uh, ice cream establishment called? This fine ice creams establishment. Technically. No, 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 let her talk. Okay, so technically it's called Mary Ann's, but uh, we call it Mary Annie's because it's funner that way. Not all of us call it that. No. Alyssa? It's always been Marion. <laughs> you guys have any thoughts you, you want to add? I think it's called. Well, technical name is Marianne's, and I can't argue with that. But your tradition does say Marianne's, so it honestly depends per person and opinion. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. very. You have an opinion, Lauren? Very. 
You just like the ice cream. Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? I, I, I like I like your approach. He's like, I don't care about By it. By the way, it's all really good homemade ice cream. And it used to just be this shop, and now they have a bunch of them, and they sell to a bunch of different restaurants too. Yep. Good stuff. So there you have it. Marion's ice cream. Don't Marianne. don't don't miss out. It's it's amazing. And just for a little bonus. Marion these. Just yeah. for a little bonus content, let's ask the employees again. I have a question. This is a family debate. What's what's this place called? Uh, Marianne's ice cream. Marianne's ice cream. Yeah. Thanks. My wife thinks it's Marianne's. Oh, Marianne's. No. I don't know if anyone's ever called it. Has anyone else ever called it that? No. No. Well, that's that's good to hear. Yeah. Thanks. I love how she just said. I, I asked her. Has anyone ever called it Marianne's? I heard. And she said no. She must be new. <laughs> <laughs> Debate settled. It's well, Marianne's. Uh -huh. it's Marianne's. Opinion, so. Well, it's not opinion when it's fact. So. It's fact and opinion. Uh, you know, there's a name. A name is something you call something, and I'm calling yes. it Marianne's. <laughs> well, we we hope you guys uh, had fun with us here in Santa Cruz, and we are gonna enjoy our ice cream and the drive home. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, joining us here in Santa Cruz and we hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you on our next video and make sure you have subscribe if you uh, would like to and hit the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload a new video. And until then, bye. <laughs> enjoy your ice cream people. Bye. <laughs> bye. Enjoy